When the world seemed to stop, we carry on, continue to dream and create. We don't just work with what we know, we innovate to adapt. So you can drive your career forward. We don't just make you feel welcome. We provide everyone an equal opportunity to succeed. We don't stop at just enough. We go extra to care. and provide so you can brave the world safely. Times aren't the same, but we've always been different. We are concentrics. We dream different. We create different. We embrace different. There are three easy steps in creating your resume link. Let me show you how. Step 1. Register. Go to www.jobs180.com using any browser and click register now. Fill out all the information needed. In choosing your resume link, Use your full name so that it looks professional and it's easy to recall by potential employers. For example, Antonio Juan de la Cruz, jobs180.com. Step 2. Create and Design When creating your resume, make sure to complete your personal information and upload your profile picture. One of the highlights of the resume link is the portfolio section. In the portfolio section, you can show off your skills by uploading samples of your work like documents, pictures, videos, and your social media links. Your resume link also features different themes and you can upload a cover photo. This is a combination of a cover letter and a social network cover photo. Here is an example. You can also download a copy of your resume link and print it. Step 3. Apply for a job. There are many ways to apply with your resume link. First is browsing the job recommendations in your Jobs 180 dashboard. If you are qualified, click Submit Resume Link. So what are you waiting for? Dress up your next generation resume 
stand out brightly among the competitive job seekers in the market and win the heart of your future employers using Resume Link. Welcome to the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, the country's first Polytechnic U. PUP is a state-run university governed by Republic Act 8292, known as the Higher Education Modernization Act of 1997, and its implementing rules and regulations contained in the Commission on Higher Education Memorandum Circular No. 4, series of 1997. It is home to more than 70,000 students, making it the largest state university in the Philippines in terms of student population. It is the university's commitment to give qualified and talented students access to quality and responsive education to aid them in the achievement of their dreams and the improvement of their lives. True to its commitment of making education accessible to all, the university has strategically established campuses and branches all over Luzon. PUP boasts of its roster of 1,483 full-time and part-time faculty members and 707 administrative employees. The faculty and employees perform the collective goal of training, servicing, and supporting the university's stakeholders. From its humble beginnings in 1904, BUP was originally established as the Manila Business School, primarily for the training of personnel for government service and to provide skills needed for private employment. Four years later, the Manila Business School was renamed Philippine School of Commerce or PSC and merged with the Philippine Normal School from 1933 to 1946. Through the virtue of Republic Act 778, PSC was renamed the Philippine College of Commerce or PCC in 1952. In April 1, 1978, PCC was converted into a chartered state university now known as the Polytechnic University of the Philippines by virtue of Presidential Decree Number 1341 issued by the President of the Republic of the Philippines. PUP truly has come a long way from a business school to a premier polytechnic university, the very first in the country. Every year, around 50,000 graduating high school students, mostly from economically challenged families, take the Polytechnic University of the Philippines College Entrance Test or poop set and hope to become one of the 10,000 who will be given a chance to be new PUPNs. At present, the university offers more than 80 programs in the graduate and undergraduate levels with its strategic direction of making the colleges vertically articulated. Graduate School College of Accountancy and Finance College of Arts and Letters College of Architecture and Fine Arts 
College of Business Administration College of Communication College of Computer and Information Sciences College of Education College of Engineering College of Law College of Political Science and Public Administration College of Social Sciences and Development College of Science College of Tourism, Hospitality and Transportation Management College of Human Kinetics Institute of Technology PUP further strengthens its open university system through expanded tertiary education equivalency and accreditation program and the non-traditional system program. It caters to borderless educational system that aims to reach many learners as possible. For more than a century of existence, countless outstanding achievements have raised PUP to the level of a national comprehensive university. With the vision to transform the university into an epistemic community, PUP subscribes to the idea that a university should have an extensive research and extension development culture. Proof to this are numerous research undertakings of the university. Each year, PUP surpasses national passing rate in licensure examinations and ranks among the top in different academic disciplines. also institutionalized academic exchange and international cooperation with various countries all over the world through its Office of International Affairs. Today, BUP is relishing its successes and its students are enjoying unprecedented academic opportunities, an enhanced campus environment, upgraded colleges, state-of-the-art technology, and nationally and internationally recognized programs. It has gone far from what it was more than a century ago. This is mainly due to the support given by the government, the PUP community, and its benefactors. With the combined efforts, PUP will continue to be a partner in nation-building and in poverty alleviation for the marginalized sector of the society with quality, responsive, and relevant education as a tool. BUP, the country's first polytechnic youth. Allow me to share with you my vision for the university. 
I envisioned PUP to become the pioneering and leading National Polytechnic University in the 21st century. With a National Polytechnic University status, it will bring more opportunities for the university to further strengthen its academic programs and improve organizational performance as an institution for higher education. In pursuit for this vision, my mission for PUP is for it to recognize its catalytic role for national development. PUP will ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities through a re-engineered polytechnic education. By re-engineering, we look into the existing processes and programs in order to achieve higher quality of academic programs and services following the principles of effectiveness and efficiency. With this mission in mind, I have formulated 10 pillars as my reform agenda for the university. Pillar 1, Dynamic, Transformational, and Responsible Leadership. Empower academic and administrative leaders by following the core principles of good governance to create collective growth and unity. Here I would like to highlight an innovation by introducing the development of an integrity management plan to assess, plan, and implement anti-corruption strategies that will secure the institution against corruption and abuse. Likewise, asset management and resource generation will be aggressively pursued to ensure productivity and finance the implementation of the plans and projects for the university. Pillar 2, Responsive and Innovative Curricula and Instruction. We aim to provide world-class polytechnic education that responds to national and global needs by developing intellectually challenging curricula and design academic programs that are based on industry demands to provide the learners with adequate and relevant competencies and skills and prepare them for a successful and rewarding careers. In a rapidly changing world, we recognize the paradigm shift in curriculum to outcome-based education with lifelong learning approach. Pillar 2 also sits on the framework of internationalization of Philippine higher education through transnational education by promoting academic mobility among faculty and students and global dimension into the curricula and teaching process. Pillar 3, Enabling and Productive Learning Environment. Following Education in Industry 4.0, we aim to increase and enhance the use of new technology to enable student learning and engagement as well as advanced teaching process and methodology through new and state-of-the-art facilities that will support the overall learning and teaching experience in the university. Pillar 3 likewise includes campus development and the provision of conducive learning centers and facilities for students and faculty. Pillar 4, Holistic Student Development and Engagement. We will empower students as well as rounded learners and active young leaders as we open opportunities for various academic mobility and venues for honing skills and personal development, being the principal stakeholder of the university. Recognize academic freedom as a form of self-expression and a platform to showcase students' intellect, skills, and creativity. Pillar 5, Empowered Faculty Members and Employees. Likewise, we are looking into the holistic development of our faculty and employees as productive, competent, and experts in their respective fields. We will encourage our faculty roster through formal education capacity building, research and extension initiatives, faculty immersion, and other academic engagements, both local and abroad. We will ensure that both our faculty and employees will have a vibrant career development path as public servants in this state university. Pillar 6, Vigorous Research Production and Utilization. We will continue to strengthen the research culture in the university 
by promoting discovery and innovation to increasing disciplinary and collaborative research integration across academic disciplines to create new knowledge, utilize research findings, and develop innovative products. Pillar 7. Global Academic Standards and Excellence Achieve the highest levels of recognition in quality and compliance standards from CHED, AACUP, and other international accrediting and regulatory bodies for higher education. We will intensify our efforts to achieve and sustain better academic performance and continue to excel as a top performing school in various professional licensure examinations and produce board top notches as well as sustain our status of being the most preferred graduates of employers. Likewise, we aim to establish and to be recognized as centers of development and excellence in our academic programs. Pillar 8, Synergistic, Productive Strategic Networks and Partnerships. Synergize and force strategic linkages and partnerships across all sectors of society and the global community in line with the overall plans and programs of the university. Establish alliance with the government, industry sector, NGOs, and the academy will lead to resource sharing, program support, and research collaborations beneficial for all. Pillar 9, Active and Sustained Stakeholders Engagement. Harness a healthy and harmonious organization by empowering all its stakeholders, both internal and external, through open communication networks, consultative and participative undertakings, and team building activities, recognizing that all stakeholders can greatly contribute towards the betterment of the university. Pillar 10, Sustainable Social Development Programs and Projects. Expand access to education knowledge building, and information dissemination through sharing of expertise and resources for community development. Support inclusivity approach in education by embarking on Education on Wheels, which aims to bring access to education closer to communities, following the principle of no one will be left behind. As the University of the People, we should bring the university closer to their hearts to serve their needs and extend assistance in mainstreaming public service. Our institution must continue to stand as one for the values that we have inculcated. For the past 115 years, we have exemplified our quest for truth, excellence, equity, relevance, effectiveness, integrity, and academic freedom. Lastly, I call upon each and every one to join me in this journey. Together we stand as one para sa sintang paralan para sa ating bayan. sa makakasama ninyo dito sa inyong paboritong online tambayan kung saan tampok ang mga nakaka-proud at huwarang PUPians. Muli, samahan nyo akong maghatid ng kaalaman and everything you have to know dito lamang sa Pinakausap-usapan sa Pamantasan! Ayan, nung last episode, dalawa lang kami. Ngayon, mag-isa ko na lang. Bakit mag-isa ko na lang? Pero alam, alam nyo, meron ako na nalaman eh. Ha? Meron daw isang estudyante na nangahas na gusto daw ako makasama ngayong episode na ito. Ang pangalan niya, tanya, ay, uh, ay Eric. No? Pero nasa na ba si Eric? Kasi kalatawag ako. Wait lang. Ito, nako. Ito, wait lang. Ay, wait lang. Tidotin ko muna. Ayan. Wait lang, ayan. Nako, sana nga ba si Eric na to? Ringing. Hello? Oh, hi, Eric! Sir Balita. Dennis? Oo, oh, oo, oh, 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 Sir Dennis nga to. Balita ko, ikaw doon makakasama ko ngayong Ay, episode opo, na to. Ah. Nasaan ka na, anak? Pagunta na po, pasensya na po. Ah, okay, sige. Ha, antayin kita, okay? Sige, sige, sige po. Paparating na, paparating na daw. Oh! Ikaw ba si Eric? 
Hai. Erik, Erik oh. kamu pada sana. Erik. Erik mati. Erik mati? Oh Sir, Erik mati. Mat Erik ah, mati. Ah, mati pala. Ay, kang amo ko. Isa kasi talaga yung tenga ko rin na. Okay, mati pala. Oo, oh, oh, Erik mati. Oh, ano bang bata ka? Ba't, ba't parang hapos na hapos ka naman? Saka ba't para ang dami mong dala, Erik? Ano bang nangyari? Ito na nga po, sir. Oo. Oh. May sinot kami kanina. Ah, talaga? Interview namin siya. Mm. Grabe, sir. Sobrang husay. Grabe. Ay, nako. Speaking of husay, For sure, PUP yan na naman yan. Siyempre, sir. Isa lang naman lang... siya sa most outstanding student sa buong Pilipinas. Buong Pilipinas? At ito pa, sir. Akala, ito ano pa? pa? Consistent horror student. Ho horror? Though. Horror? Ay, honor student. Ah, liwa na. Batch 2018. Oh, honor student. Siyempre, pag ganun, sir, oh. matik na, diba? Oh, Usually, oh. valediktorya na siya. Oh, yeah, tama. Posibleng ganun. Pero sino nga ba itong ano, nung tinutukoy mong yan? Panoorin nyo po. Ito na, sir. Yes. Kumandang ma-inspire sa kanyang kwento ng Sipag at Talino. Pinapakilala si Romeo Latoza Jr. dito sa Tatak Piyupian! Uh, I'm Romeo B. Latoza Jr. I'm 20 years old. I am a graduate of the Bachelor of Arts in English degree from the College of Arts and Letters, Batch 2018. Memorable siya because you will face or you will earn lots of things along the way. Marami akong beses na nabigo. Like, for example, nabigo sa pagkuha ng goal for that sem, or nabigo sa pagkuha ng award na yun, or like nabigo sa pagtapos ng project or what not. PUP helped me in a way that the values I was able to demonstrate or exercise in achieving those goals, PUP is the one who made me earn it. Like yung value of patience, yung value of resiliency, yung value of being resourceful, yung value of being humble. Uh, my dream talaga kasi is to become a PhD. I really want to be called a doctor someday. I really want also to get promoted so work. So I just want to be happy. Ilang. The things you will learn inside PUP, you would already use it. Or it's something that you can really use once you set out of the outside world. So always be resilient, always be patient, always be thankful. And remember, the journey might be difficult, but trust me, the reward that will wait for you at the end is really something worth it. Ako si Romeo B. Latoza Jr., three-time national top 10 best judge of the Philippines, magna cum laude, and top 4 class valedictorian of PUP Class of 2018, and isa sa mga top 10 regional awardees ng 57th Search for 10 Outstanding Students of the Philippines, Tatak PUPian. Wow, talagang umaangat ang mga PUPian sa iba't ibang larangan, di ba? O at alam mo ba, tatak na talaga natin mga PUPian ng talino at galing. Siyempre sir, kagaya na lang namin mga taga si Oso. Oo, oh, talaga. Kilala kami maging bida pagdating sa media. Ay, gusto ko yan. Sige nga, matry nga natin. Okay. Paano? Sige nga, okay, pakita mo nga. <laughs> yan lang pala eh. Oo, oh, oh, makapaghanda talaga. Oh. Okay. Okay. What's up, PUPian? Oh. Ako nga para si Eric. Ako nga muna. Eric Matic, school body. Para sa pinakausap-usapan sa pamantasan. Wow! Nakawa no, ang galing! Pwede ka na maging director. Sir, sir. sir. Ano? Host. Sir, talaga pala biro. Maging host po yung... Ay, host ba? <laughs> Siyempre, joke lang yun, Eric. Sir. Alam mo naman, pagtatak PUP yan, mahusay. Siyempre naman. Kagaya ko na lang po, sir. Pagkatapos na pagkatapos na ito, i-direction na po ako ng Aslin. Yan! Very good! Sa makeup good. class ko po. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi, sir. Ano? Saan po yung Aslin? Has, ayan na nga ba sinasabi ko? Hasmin lang, di mo pa alam. Ilang buwang, ilang buwang ka na dito sa PUP ngayon? Di mo alam kung saan yung... Sabi po kasi nila, oh. pag galing po dito sa Maine, mm. kasakay pa ako ng isang private school. Okay. Nandun daw po yung graduate school, yeah. yung College of Tourism, mm -hmm. Hospitality, Transportation and Management. Ay, ang galing mo doon. Okay. Abisado ko. Tumpak ka dyan, Eric. Kaya naman, para sagutin ang iyong katanungan tungkol dyan, Yun. para matagpuan o makita, makita kung saan nga ba ang iba't ibang colleges dito sa PUP Maine, panoorin mo doon. Thank you, sir. Para sa ating question for this episode, saan nga ba matatagpuan ang iba't ibang colleges dito sa Maine Campus? First off, ang tahanan ng mga eskolar ng bayan, ang PUP Main Campus. Kilala na ang PUP Santa Mesa bilang main campus ng buong PUP community. Dito nagsimulang itinatag ang lahat ng colleges. 
buildings, and libraries bago pa man ito nagkaroon ng iba't ibang branches sa iba't ibang lugar. Kung nagtataka kayo kung nasa ng iba nating mga schoolmates, we are here to find out. One tricycle away from PUP Main ang building ng COC, College of Communication. Dito ang tahanan ng ating mga schoolmates na talaga nga namang kilala na sa pagiging bida sa media. Dito rin natin matatagpuan ng PUP Theater, kung saan ginaganap ang mga theater plays and events para sa ating mga scholar ng bayan. Next stop from COC ay ang SEA, College of Engineering and Architecture. Ang building na ito ay binubuo ng dalawang colleges, ang CAFA, College of Architecture and Fine Arts at CE College of Engineering. Dito nagmumula ang mga magagaling nating mga schoolmates na talagang nga namang pambato pagdating sa mga licensure exams. Konting kembot lang from SEA ay mapapadpad na kayo sa Condotel. Dito naman nalalagi ang ilan sa ating mga PUPN Senior High School students. Matatagpuan sa kalyan ng Pureza ang PUP ITEC na tahanan ng mga PUPNs na kumuha ng ladderized programs o 3-year degree programs. Ang ating last stop ay walang iba kundi ang MH Del Pilar Campus na kilala rin sa tawag na Hasmin Hostel ng ating mga schoolmates. Dito matatagpuan ang graduate school at mga kapwa nating isko at iska sa College of Tourism, Hospitality and Transportation Management. Ayun naman pala! Yeah. Naku, diba? may share ko nga yan sir sa mga classmates ko. Para hindi uh -huh. na kami maligaw dito. Tama! Tama, Eric. At saka syempre, para mapamiliarize na rin sila kung saan mga ba yung iba't ibang colleges na nabanggit, di ba? Tama, sir. Tama. Maraming salamat po talaga, sir. Yes. Naku, pero Eric ha, baka mamaya pagpunta mo doon, hindi ka na bumalik dito sa Maine. Bakit, Bakit na naman po? Syempre, ano yun? College of Tourism. Hospitality and Transportation Management. Hospitality? Oh. Yun, hospitality. Hospitality. Oo. Oh, oh. mm. Sa so, sobrang hospitable nila. Yun nga. Baka magpa-ship na ako ng course. Yun, nako, baka magpa-ship. Ano ma? Nako, nako, Eric, out ng bumok. Contenti yung... Maraming, uh, aside from that, alam mo ba, marami rin mga naggagandahan at naggagawpungan daw dyan sa oh. ng mga schoolmates natin. Pero kung kahit mo, lalayo ka pa ba? Oh. Sabi mo na. Doon nga sa HTM. <laughs> At kung nagagandahan mm. naman, itong org na to, yes. ganda. Oh. Talino. Oh. Tapang ang mayroon sila, sir. Ay, that's very interesting. So, parang para feeling ko kilala ko yan eh. Abay, kilala oh. talaga sila, sir. Mm. At para mas makilala pa sila ng ating mga schoolmates. Oh, ito na nga, Eric. Kilalanin na natin ang natatanging pambansang demokratikong organisasyong pangkababaihan dito sa Orgaling! Org Ako si Maya, Secretary General ng Gabriela Youth PUP, ang natatangin pambansang demokratik ng organisasyon pang kababaihan sa loob ng campus. Ang hihikay at lahat 
ng biktima ng violence against women, kabataan, kababaihan na magsalita hinggil sa kanilang masamang nakaraan. At para sa mas mabilis na access ng pagsusumbong, inaanayahan din namin ang lahat na i-like at i-share ang page ni Gabby, ang Gabriela Anti-Sexual Harassment Chatbot. Grabe! Tunay nga nakakahanga. Yeah, diba? Nakakahanga ang mga layunin at mga nagawa ng Gabriela Yu. Siyempre, sir. Totoo uh -oh. po yan. Kaya dahil dyan, bigyan naman natin sila ng isang masin. Bravo! Yeah! Para! At ito ha, bilib din talaga ako sa dedikasyon ng mga kabataan ito. Dito mo talaga mapapatunayan, Eric, na ang kabataan ay ang pag-asa ng bayan. Yes! Tama naman! <laughs> Kaya sa aking kapwa, schoolmates, mm. sana patuloy nating ipaglaban ang gender equality yes. at women's rights. Correct ka dyan, Eric. At alam ba, in fairness din naman sa'yo, Eric, ha, na ilaban mo ang pag-host mo dito sa pinakusap-usapan sa pamantasan. Laban Siyempre, lang, di ba? Siyempre naman, sir. Gusto, oh. gusto, gusto, gusto ko po talaga ito. Tsaka isa pa, oh. Lodi po kita dito. Ay, nang bola ka ba naman talaga? Mm. <laughs> nang bola Lodi ka kita, pa. Sir, Lodi. Oh. Pero sir, in all mm. seriousness po, What? maraming maraming pong salamat. Oh. Napakalaking opportunity na. Opportunity po nito. Wow. And nakaka-inspire po talaga. Wow, speaking of inspire, sana Eric, no, hindi lang ikaw yung na-inspire, okay. kundi na-inspire din natin yung ating mga schoolmates sa mga nakapusapan natin kanina, mga kwentong nakakabilib ng ating mga PUP yan. Hindi lang na-inspire, sir. Yes. Nasagot din natin ang ilang sa mga katanungan mm. ng ating kapwa schoolmates. Correct. Kaya naman, abangan ang iba pang mga susunod na episode schoolmates para maging updated sa mga usap-usapan. At syempre, okay. para malaman din natin kung nakapasa nga ba sa audition si Eric by following our social media account. For Facebook, hanapin lang ang PUP Create TV and follow us on Twitter at PUP TV. Yes, and guys, you know the drill. Do not forget to subscribe yes, to our YouTube channel at PUP Create TV. Uh -huh, di ba? O siya, mga schoolmates, hanggang sa susunod na usapan dito sa inyong paboritong online tambayan. Ito ang Pinakausap-usapan sa Pamantasan! <laughs> Emerson is a global technology and engineering leader. We operate in over 150 countries. We are uh, 110,000 employees worldwide. And here in the Philippines, we have over 2,000 employees. My name is Nikki Florento. I'm from Dal, Philippines. I'm handling the university relations and services hiring. Pagasa Steel Supply is concrete reinforcing bars to the Philippines' booming construction industry. We have been the leading supplier of quality steel bars for the past 52 years. EGS is an Algorica company. It is one of the fastest growing BPO companies in the Philippines right now. I'm Cecil Venantia and I'm Branding and Communications Director of Sykes Asia. We don't decide whether you're from a top tier university or a state university. We decide based on our assessments that includes exams and interviews. Having said that, a lot of Dell's workforce in the Philippines are from PUP. 55 to 80 hires annually, those coming from PUP alone. And as a matter of fact, 14 of the homegrown employees who started from staff and supervisor have been promoted. Currently, uh, we have 13 employees from the PUP. They're working in a different field. So most of them are engineer, some are in sales, most of them are in the higher position. There's a huge pool of students that we can really um, harvest from. And we know the, the reputation that they bring. So we're glad that we have a university like PUP that we can uh, rely on for, uh, for our future employees. I love the graduates of TUP. They are not only fun to work with, but you can rely on them. They are very, very dependable. PUP graduates are an exact match and fit 
to Pagasa Steel's mission and vision. The reason why we prefer the BEP graduates is the fact that we notice that um, they have a common denominator, very hardworking. See, whatever happens, they'd still work. Even if it's raining, they'd still come to work. You give them additional tasks, they'd accept. They are resilient. Very passionate, aside from being resilient, because we can see that they're very dedicated with their job. And we've seen a lot of PUP graduates, not just in one department. They turn out to uh, adapt very well and adjust well to our company here in the Philippines. They're productive employees and they stay with us for a long time. Integrity and ethics, drive for results, intellectual capacity, and adaptability. So when we hire PUBNs, they have this kind of um, they have this kind of competencies. Of course, they're very intelligent people, responsible, responsible in a sense because whenever um, we meet these graduates and we ask them what are their future plans, they would always come up with answers like helping out their family or because I'm done with school, I'll help out another sibling. So you would know already that. Um, these kids, even before um, they actually embark on um, certain work, they already have um, goals in mind. They're not maarte, no? Whatever you give them, they know that if it's for the purpose of the job, they will do it. And so they have, uh, they're the ones that survive the challenges of work. They don't shirk away from responsibilities. Um, they're the type who, whatever the job requires, they're up for the challenge. PUPNs enable people everywhere to grow and thrive. PUP is one of the pillars of the nation because it is an institution that provides good graduates and people who really contribute to the success of the community or to the success of the country. All the people associated with PUP, if you're a graduate, congratulations and uh, you should be proud of yourselves. For those of you that are students, please continue the tradition, the proud legacy that your school has. Some of you, PUP, you work for us now. We appreciate you. We know you're good employees. For those of you that might work for us in the future, please consider us. We'd love to have you. We know that you make a great employee for us. UPNs, bring everything you are. If you have big ideas, let's talk. Come work where passion meets possibility. You can visit jobs.tel.com for opportunities. To pursue your dreams and work hard for whatever endeavor you will choose. And in the event that you will choose to apply in one of the fastest BPO companies in the Philippines, I would like to invite you to apply in EGS and Alorica Company because our doors are open for all of you. To all the PUPNs, let's create a size of smile together. Smart is very happy to have PUP graduates now enjoying their career and let them live more. Hashtag Sites to PUP, we will support you in more ways than one. Tara na, maging magkasama na tayo, mabuhay ang PUP.
Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtuklas sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kapahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Hi, I'm Engineer Florinda H. Oquindo, Director of the Alumni Relations and Career Development Office. The role of our office is to keep connections among students and alumni. Provides complete range of services to students, alumni, and employers in the area of career development. Graduates and professional schools preparations, employee relations, and campus recruitment. We also provide alumni and students with the tools and resources to help find success in all professional endeavors. To all freshmen, please come and visit us. Our office is located at N209 North Wing, second floor. Good morning, guys. Okay, what a pleasant morning. So, good morning po sa ating participants via Zoom and FB Live. So, in behalf of the Alumni Relation and Career Development Office, I would like to welcome you on this 2021 Career Development Seminar. So, we have lined up several activities for you guys. And I hope you will learn a lot for today's webinar. So, reminders, we are currently on live stream on, at PUP Career Center Facebook page. Okay, so guys, I hope you, uh, you like and you follow that page. Okay, so... Shout out, shout out muna tayo. Meron tayong mga watching from NTC College. We also do have from PUP Bataan. We also do have Binyan. 
So maraming salamat sa pag-attend po nyo sa ating webinar for today. So guys, wait lang ha, let me share my screen. Okay. To formally welcome this uh to formally welcome this event, we would like to um We will be playing the ABP of the Vice President for Students Affairs and Services, Dr. Sinaida B. Sarmento, Dr. Sinaida R. Sarmento. Okay, so good morning sa ating uh, good morning sa ating uh, industry reporter who will uh, who will be with us today. Uh, Microgenesis, Accenture, Concentrix, and E-Trade. So, marami tayong nakaline up na event. Marami tayong nakaline up na topic. And I hope, guys, you will learn a lot for this webinar. Lang po, ha? Okay, so to formally welcome this, uh, to formally welcome this uh, event. Okay? Share ko po ang screen ni Ma'am Sarmento. SAS and Director of Alumni Relations Career and Development Office, Engineer Flor Okindo, Chief Jane Pulma, and Chief Mabel Belmonte, representatives from our industry partners and participating companies, other guests, and to our dear students, a pleasant morning to all of you. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this career talk. This is one of the activities of the university, specifically the ARCDO, where we would like our students to know the importance of building one's career path. Our dear students, knowing and determining where you want to go and how to get there are our main goals why we have this career talk. Likewise, the university would like to help you achieve your goals in securing future jobs or internships. In this event, you will have the opportunity to meet your future employers, reputable and well-established companies representatives who will inspire and motivate you to work hard to achieve your future goals. To our industry partners and participating companies, thank you for partnering with us and for the opportunity that you are giving our students find their employment or find a good venue for their on-the-job training. May we maintain our intensive relationship and in the process both benefit from it. Rest assured that this university will continue to be your partner in your worthy endeavors. PUP will continue to cultivate its students' potential to make them more productive with exceptional skills and know-how which are needed by your companies. I would like to extend Okay, so in behalf of the Alumni Relation and Career Development Office, maraming salamat, Dr. Sarmento, for this recorded message. So, guys, can you type, oh, may watching daw sa atin from Oriental Mindoro. So, to all participants in the Zoom, kindly type your branches so we can acknowledge you and at the same time, uh, ma-shout out namin po kayo. Okay, our, our, our sponsor college is the College of Computer and Information Sciences and College of Social Sciences and Development. So, maraming salamat sa ating mga dika, sa ating dikano at dikana. 
ng College of Computer and Information Sciences, uh, Dr. Eminil Documentador, and Dr. Uh, Raul Sebastian of the College of Social Science and Development. Maraming salamat po sa suporta, as well as our PUP branches. Okay, so meron daw tayo from PUP Lopez. We also do have from Min, uh, Mindoro State University Oriental Mindoro, PUP Bataan. Department of Mathematics and Statistics. And Department of Economics. Good morning. I'm Professor Jane S. Pulma of the Alumni Relation and Career Development Office. So we're currently live on Zoom and we're currently air on the PUP Career Center official web page. Okay, guys. So let me do first the housekeeping for this webinar. Okay, so for our Zoom participants, it is a reminder to all, please remember to mute your microphone while the webinar proper is ongoing. And remember that we are currently on live stream. So for the Q&A portion, you may raise your hand so we can unmute you. And this is the time you can open your camera to interact with your speaker. And you can also use the Zoom chat to raise any questions after the webinar. So guys, binibigyan namin kayo ng, ng pagkakataon to interact with our speaker, to, uh, to interact with our speaker for today para magtanong personal sa kanila. Next one for our participants via FB, FB page or the PUP Career Develop, uh, Career Center page or stream participants, you may use the comment section for your questions and please introduce yourself with your name, course, and section. We will be monitoring and including all of the questions for this webinar and it will be addressed in the Q&A portion. Okay, for everyone... Please, uh, please be reminded or please make sure that you had accomplished the evaluation form plus at the Zoom chat or the comment section of our FB page. So this will, be ha this will happen at the end of the session. So your di digital certificate will be re released two to three weeks after the conduct to those who attended participated and accomplished the evaluation form given at the end of the session. So please be reminded that this part, this form is only accessible six hours after the webinar. Okay, guys. So without any further ado, let me introduce our first industry partner who will be uh, with us today. So our first industry partner is one of the leading information technology solution provider in the Philippines. They do have the top 5,000 company corporation in the country cro crossing various industries including banking, finance, manufacturing, trading, service providers, and among others. So they are known as the uh, known in the industry as a company that has built a strong relationship with a customer through its business philosophy that is being crafted throughout the decade. So their mission is to provide a cost-effective and beneficial solution for their client as to equip and empower and enable them to do successful businesses so that okay so let watch the avp of microgenesis microgenesis was established in 1988 to cater to the growing needs of the business community during the time that the Philippine market was just discovering the wonderful things that computers and automation can bring to better one's productivity and enhance business outcomes. Founded on the values of quality, service, and support, it grew from developing software programs to providing computers, 
information technology solutions, cloud solutions, cybersecurity, IT education, and training to businesses all over the Philippines and overseas. Its vision is to see a vibrant society where technology is being deployed to make lives better for everyone, and it aims to achieve this vision through its mission of providing beneficial and cost-effective IT solutions to its clientele to equip, enable, and empower them to be successful in their businesses. With a presence in five cities nationwide, Microgenesis aims to make IT easy for its clientele by designing, building, securing, managing, and maintaining their IT infrastructure and IT assets through its expertise in cybersecurity, hybrid cloud, network and communication, data center facilities, digital transformation and automation solutions, professional IT and managed services, IT education, software subscriptions and licensing, computer devices, and computer rental. To this end, it has fostered strong partnerships with top industry IT vendors to deliver a comprehensive set of IT solutions for its growing set of customers. As a firm believer of providing excellent service, which has been the single factor for its continuous growth through three decades, Microgenesis continues to invest heavily in the development and equipping of its personnel through various premium trainings. To date, all sales specialists, solutions engineers, and support engineers in the company are holders of various industry standard and vendor certifications as their badges and act as the customer's trusted consultants. Microgenesis is committed to the continued improvement of all its personnel to serve its customer better through each year. Here at Microgenesis, we live up to our name. We are making IT easy for you. Okay, so... Okay, to discuss about the career path in information technology, please let's welcome Mr. Paul Maganes. Team Lead Open Source Solution and Red Hot, Red Hot Instructor of Microgenesis Business System. Okay, you can take the floor, Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul. Right. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, sir. We do hear wow. you. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, ang, ang daming participants. Ha? Yes, sir. Okay. We also do have participants, sir, sa, ano, sa Facebook page natin, sa PUP Career Center. So, guys. Wow. Apo. So, thanks for pwede nyo follow yun. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for ano, inviting us. No? So, I feel like, ano, I feel like, uh, like a college <laughs> ule. Okay, so it, it's a uh, ano, it's a uh, it's an honor no to to invite uh, sa ganitong event nila. So I've been with uh, in the past no during my early days, early days talaga. Um, I've been also ano uh, uh, I've been a lot of uh, uh, talking about IT in the past with various uh, various uh, universities and colleges. So this is not my uh, uh, first time but uh, it's been a while no uh, and uh, i hope everyone is uh, safe and uh, in good health uh, and uh, uh, and walang nagkakasakit ano? so despite this ano this pandemic uh, you still ano no, manage to do this ano uh, do this uh, for the en uh, enhancement of your uh, uh, of your uh, students colleges and, uh, and so on Okay, so uh, yeah, so a bit, a little bit about me before we jump into my uh, presentation. So I've been with uh, Microgenesis uh, for nearly uh, for uh, for nearly almost ten years now. Uh, this coming November, uh, focusing more on uh, open source uh, technology uh, in a data center, cloud, and security. And uh, but uh, but in totality, you know, I've been. Uh, doing uh, IT since 2001. So it means that it is nearly 20 years now 
uh, been uh, as an uh, IT professional. But uh, my, my current role right now is a, a team lead and uh, instructor. So uh, leading a, 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 a talented small team of engineers. And uh, uh, we also do uh, solutions implementations and uh, teaching also. So I've been teaching for the past uh, nearly 10 years now. Okay, so uh, yeah, so let me just uh, share my screen. So I'll do this uh, in most casual way, guys. No? So para, uh, uh, later on, you can uh, ask me anything. <laughs> okay. okay, so let me just... Okay, so can you see my screen now, guys? Okay, so I hope you can see it now. Okay, now, so, yeah, so just uh, as you know it, uh, I'll be discussing, I'll be sharing about uh, good things, you no, know, in the world of information technology. So I'll be talking about career path in ICT or uh, information communication technology. Now, so before, we, though I already uh, mentioned a bit about me uh, earlier, um, so don't be guys, don't be scared with I don't know <laughs> with that picture, you know. So uh, in in addition, uh, uh, in addition, uh, uh, I've been yeah, like I mentioned earlier, you no, know, I've been doing uh, this for the past uh, twenty years, uh, ten years in teaching a uh, Linux administration, which is an open source technology. Uh, both Red Hat and SUSE Linux, uh, which is focused more on data center, cloud, and security, with some skill sets you know, from uh, Linux deployment, uh, administration, uh, security, hardening, automation, and so on, among others. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm also a karate instructor, uh, aside from being a, uh, I don't know, being a uh, IT professional. Okay, so as for our uh, agenda, so. Um, so this is just a three bullets, no? Uh, so I'll be talking about opportunities available in IT field and what are the career paths no? uh, available out there. So you can, uh, I don't know, you can uh, able to uh, choose whatever you want to pursue later on no? and how to select, no? how to choose your own path. Okay. Okay, so first, is yeah what are the opportunities actually there are lots of opportunities out there but uh, i've uh, i've uh, drilled all of those into few uh know few uh, sections uh, eight just eight i know uh, just eight uh, fields sections and yeah okay so what are the opportunities out there now um, so let's face the truth that we live in IT era. Uh, we live in digital age, or sometimes they call it internet age, you know, which that all information related processing are taken over by information systems. So those with creative minds, no, hanggat kaya nilang mag digitize, mag automate ng uh, mga processes they will they will develop they will do systems for those you no know, as as much as possible uh in it world it world is very diverse uh meaning it is very broad no? uh huge changes are sweeping through the industry everything's there is always a change no uh actually uh, i might be wrong no not every day maybe every hour no there is always new things in uh, in, in information technology and whatever whatever uh, career path you you're going to pursue, no, the, the global exposure is there. So once you are a, a IT a, an IT expert, you are in demand both local and in abroad, no. And yeah, uh, fast career growth and promotions, uh, especially if you got into the uh, perfect right company, the the career growth is always there. 
And yeah, since we mentioned earlier that IT is a diverse field, so expect different type of jobs and ability to change, especially if you feel that you want to uh, switch from one path to another. Yeah, you can do that in IT world. No, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, good pay, you know. Uh, yeah, so I can say that sa Philippine, uh, I can say that uh, many companies are uh, adapting na rin yung uh, a rate that must be uh, given to a uh, professional. No? And yeah, uh, continuous learning. So there is, uh, like we said earlier, no, uh, we, there is always a change. There is always improvement. There is always uh, the, the advancement of technology is uh, rapidly, no, continuously uh, growing every day, no. So, uh, no, learning doesn't stop there, no. So, for example, you are students right now. So, even you graduated, even you are working, uh, you don't stop learning. So, you continue to learn, and yeah, and lastly, it is fun, no. Uh, yeah, in every in any work, uh, stress is always there. Uh, uh, and uh, some negative aspects about uh, about uh, working, but in uh, in IT we can say it is uh, fun. It is fun to to explore things, to to deploy things, to implement, to troubleshoot th to troubleshoot things. Because at the at the end of the day, uh, you learn something uh, out of those uh, experiences. Okay, now so like I mentioned earlier, no. So what are the career paths available out there? Okay, so so first, uh, one in demand. Actually, all of all all these, I don't know, all these uh, uh, parts are all in demand, naman, ano. But uh, one uh, inuna ko dito yung hardware services in, and infrastructure. So these are the people who is responsible for building and maintaining the important foundations of companies IT environment so you act as a back end in uh, no, no, as a uh, back end uh, uh, IT of uh, of an organization of or company no so without infrastructure um, there is no software to be deployed no there is no operating system uh, applications and whatsoever no so infrastructure is a uh, important uh, no, no, has an important role sa, no, sa IT and uh, yeah, within within this field, no, you can. Uh, there is a good chance that you'll be great in some uh, positions such as IP, IT help desk. So, say IT help desk is uh, one, uh, no, no, uh, entry level job uh, in, in most cases. Uh, another is network support, okay, field support or service center technician. So these are just a, a few in hardware services and. Uh, infrastructure. Next is yeah, network cloud and technologies or network and cloud technologies, which is a, not a new thing uh, nowadays. You know, cloud technologies or cloud computing, you might already heard about it for quite some time now. Uh, before we call it emerging technology, but uh, it is not an emerging technology anymore. So because uh, uh, it comes a long way and it is very mature nowadays no, yung cloud technologies and one of the most in demand out there no, na mga job uh, opportunities. So these are uh, those are the uh, no, no, uh, uh, responsible for installing, uh, configuring, uh, administering network equipment <clears throat> and uh, network services no, to, to ensure the flow of information in and around organizations. So within this field, uh, there's a good chance uh, you'll be great in what in network administration or or network or system administration uh, for cloud engineer uh, it can be sysops devops or devsecops so these are just a a few ano, and yeah i can say there are lots of uh, ano pa, uh, uh, positions that is available to this field okay so another ano, uh, field or path that uh, you can pursue is the storage and uh, data. No? Uh, if you are into or uh, want to become an uh, expert in, uh, no, no, in uh, handling, uh, protecting data. So uh, in this path, no, uh, you are responsible for maintaining, for maintaining and storing important data. 
uh, storage and data professionals are needed to make sure that all important data is properly stored and safe from any potential security lapses. So kung mapapansin nyo, yung sumunod na part, sumunod na part is information security. Uh, data and uh, especially data security is uh, yeah, uh, uh, magka-partner to, magka-tandem to. It is very important in most organizations and company that your data is uh, always available, uh, the integrity is always intact, and you always have a backup. Okay, so whatever happen if uh, no uh, if data breach happen, if data leakage happen, if you got uh, infected by a ransomware, a, a data professional must be able to or ensure to uh, recover yung uh, uh, mga important data natin. So within this field, there's a good chance you'll be great as a data engineer, a backup engineer, or database administrator, or a DPO. No? So one of the uh, 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 in-demand then na, ano, na, na positions sa uh, data, DPO, data privacy officer. Okay. And yeah, the other one, the other path is information security. So this is also one of the you know, one of the um what do you call this in demand uh, not only locally but uh, international a uh, cyber security or uh, it security expert so these are the uh, uh, professionals that are needed to design and implement security measures that prevent attacks on computer systems uh, networks and data so, so if you would I don't know if you would uh, see uh, in our information uh, age uh, today. No, uh, this this path is I don't know. We can say na talagang uh, napaka ano napaka in demand. Uh, whatever you will be, no, even you are in storage uh, data, even uh, you are in uh, hardware services or cloud security is always there. No? Uh, within this field, so there's a good chance you'll be good, uh, great, you know, in a. Uh, uh, as a security analyst, you can be an incident handler, uh, security consultant, uh, digital forensic, ethical hacker, or penetration tester. So if you feel uh, to become a hacker, yeah, the, this uh, no no, uh, this might be uh, no, a good path for you uh, if you are uh, no no uh, very uh, no, sa security, very interested in security. No. So I mentioned ethical hacker because uh, there are types of hacker. Meron tayong bad and uh, good hacker or sometimes they call it white hat hacker for uh, for security professionals. No, Pero yung, ano, black hat hacker na tinatawag nila. Uh, those are ano, no, uh, bad guys. Okay. Now, so what else? Uh, yeah, we also have web and mobile. So yeah, which is a, one of the common things then sa ano sa IT world okay uh, so as a web and mobile uh, uh, career uh, you're responsible for web mobile development and maintenance so web mobile professionals are needed to design and create websites and mobile applications and we can say na yeah this is also ano no in an in demand ano no a uh, career path uh, because Diba? Uh, everything is on the web na eh, diba? Uh, dati yung uh, uh, before yung office applications natin, ginagamit lang natin sa ano, sa desktop natin, but office applications right now can be used uh, directly sa web, diba? Even sa mobile natin. So, yeah, so napaka ano, ano napaka laki ng uh, opportunity sa ano na to, sa uh, field na to. Okay, so within this field, so there's a good chance also you'll be great as a web developer, uh, mobile app developer or web designer okay so kung mapapansin niyo guys uh, the next one is software development okay so ano yung ano yung pinagkaiba actually hindi sila masyado nagkakalayo ng web and mobile uh, development so the the only difference is that in software development you can also be a web and mobile developer but uh, not focus no uh, you can be focused on other platform not only in web and mobile even in in desktop or sa mga IoT devices. So you can do software development uh, there. No? Siguro one best example, uh, for example, a POS machine. So point of sale. So 
pag nagpupunta kayo sa store, di ba, nagbabayad kayo sa ano, sa cashier. So those uh, uh, what they use is a POS system. So that is one example of ano no, that uh, one can develop uh, type of software no. So software development professionals are needed to develop applications and programs that allow uh, people no to complete tasks on a computer or another device no. Or it can be yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it can be an IoT device. So uh, you might be heard yung tinatawag nilang mga small type of computer, yung mga ARM-based computer such as Raspberry Pi, Arduino, you might uh, already heard that. And all. So within this field, uh, there's a good chance no, you'll be great as a software developer, front and back end developers, uh, full stack developers, or embedded systems uh, developers. No? So again, so yung mga positions na nami mention natin are just a few no, uh, positions out there. Okay. So this will be the you know, the last two career paths uh, I'll be sharing. So if, for example, you you ano na no, nasa IT field ka na and uh, uh, and uh, nagtagal ka sa IT field and you feel uh, you want to level up yourself uh, from technical going to IT management and strategy. Yeah, we also ano no, we also uh, have that ano path ano. So those are. Uh, is uh, responsible for the uh, no, management and strategizing. Okay, so these IT professionals are needed to plan, coordinate, and direct uh, computer-related activities in an organization. So sa ganitong ano, sa ganitong uh, path, uh, it is a must. No, dapat medyo broad na yung ano mo, yung uh, knowledge mo sa uh, information technology. Uh, all of the fields and path I mentioned, dapat merong kang ano no uh, merong kang touch sa mga ano na yon path na yon uh, prior becoming ano no uh, I, in IT management it can be IT supervisor or IT uh, IT manager no or higher than that no so within this field there's a good chance no? you'll be great as an IT strategist no IT manager or uh, or a computer and information systems manager or MIS manager Okay, and yeah, and lastly, uh, training. Okay, so if you feel na yung mga experiences and knowledge you gain through the years, uh, if you are into IT, uh, yeah, you can go to training. I don't know, field uh, and teach. So like like me, so, so I uh, I love to uh, teach things, and yeah, so there is also a demand there. So especially right now na napaka broad ng technology so there are no no lots things to learn out there and many uh, IT training is ano no is uh, you can find uh, ano uh, many uh, training uh, uh, IT training facility out there no uh, offering different technologies okay uh, yeah so those are the uh, responsible for uh, training others in many different areas, like I, uh, we described, no, of information technology. Uh, training professionals are responsible for training individuals, no, uh, across various uh, areas. So, yeah. So within this field, uh, there's a good chance you'll be great as an IT training specialist, uh, yeah, IT trainer itself, or yeah, a IT consultant, no. Now, um, so with those, uh, no, no, with those career paths. Uh, so I just divided it into eight parts, ano? So pero each one of those has a uh, very broad opportunity, no? Every one of those, no? But uh, yeah, having a good career sa IT, no? Actually, I can say in any field, it is a, a it is a must, no? Of course, it is a must that you must have a uh, not only a an, an, an experience no uh, that's one thing is for sure you really need an experience no but the good thing nowadays is that many companies are uh, ano, no, are accepting uh, fresh graduates even you are not yet well experienced no um, yeah so uh, whether you are experienced or not uh, even uh, you are uh, a uh, uh, beginner in IT world uh, or fresh comer, you know, sa IT world, and 
and um, what else so another 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 thing i want to ano i want to emphasize is that though experience skill sets is necessary is experience skill sets and of course attitude <laughs> okay uh, those are the ano no important uh, things no uh, uh, in in any field no but in it world i can say na uh, we can add more value to, to yourself guys no so another uh, that you can or you should or i can you should or you must <laughs> okay i can say you must no uh, you must do uh, uh, once you get into it is you consider to ano guys you consider to add a value to yourself by attaining a ano no a numbers or or sets of credentials so in this uh, next slide guys is that uh ito yung mga ano yung mga fields na na mentioned ko earlier okay so these are just sets of certifications so hindi ko na siya daanan isa isa medyo marami siya no but uh, i just want to ano i just want to share that in the world of IT if you would ano no kung uh, mapapansin niyo we don't have such uh, examination such as bar exam so hindi uso sa IT except ECE no that which is uh, ano I, I believe they uh, meron silang bar exam no pero uh, yeah aside from that wala tayong bar exams no so that is because in the world of uh, information technology is that ang uh, labanan out there is ano no pagandahan paramihan ng ano ng uh, certification well that is the the reality right now so you should also consider no pero uh, this adds a value to to ano no to you guys but uh, yeah so there are certifications designed for beginners to intermediate advanced up to the expert right so of course uh, i highly suggest and uh, recommend na you you do the ano muna no the, the beginner stage muna and then uh, as um, as you go along sa it field is you can no uh, sk level up yourself taking yung mass advanced pang mga ano uh, certifications again to add a value to your uh, to your uh, professional uh, profile no okay uh, so uh, like me no we are also ano microgenesis is also a training partner of uh, red hat and susa linux so which is an open source technology open source operating system uh, um yeah so sa, sa linux operating system is uh, saan siya papasok na field so it uh sa network and cloud technology so i see there is a rhca there which is a red hat certified uh architect and uh, susa certified architect uh, so this is for the platform ano? and all of these are combines yung na mention natin kanina okay so meron dyan pang systems pang cloud pang security uh, and uh, so on ano? okay so i've heard na uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure if uh, pup is a, a partner of some uh, technology vendor out there but there are some uh, ano, ano, but that, that there are some uh, universities and colleges that once you there are students no uh, uh, that uh, graduated with ano, no, with credential na agad. So merong mga, for example, merong university na partner ng Cisco, no. So they offer Cisco certification inside that ano no, university. So that so that na yung ano yung uh, uh, graduates once na uh, graduate certified na agad. For example, so I'm, uh, I'm not sure no. So so if uh, uh, PUP has uh, similar to that uh, program. Okay, so do napakarami, guys. So you would see no napakarami. But uh, the the next question is uh, how to select your path, no? My path. Actually, ano no, madali lang siyang ano sagutin, no? Uh, just pick the career that best suit for your aspirations, no? Kung ano yung pinapangarap mo, ano yung interest mo. Okay? And uh, interest that you would uh, uh, no, no, you would uh, uh, you will uh, do for a long time no? and not blindly follow what others do so it is important kasi na sa sa IT is that you pursue yung kung ano yung ano mo talaga yung interest mo it is ano no uh, wala siyang pinagkaiba sa bata na uh, na gustong mag college and uh, the parents want to want them to decide kung ano yung gusto nilang i-take na course. So ganun din sa ano no sa IT world no. 
you choose yung ano, you choose your um, your uh, dream. Okay, you choose your ano best interest. Okay? Eh baka kasi kaya kaya natin na mention not blind by by not blindly follow what others do kasi baka uh, narinig mo lang na ah, okay, uh, mukhang sikat 'yon. Ah uh, Okay, yung mga kasama ko is doing that path also, is pursuing that path also. Uh, dapat dun din ako. Uh, wag. Uh, unless otherwise, talagang interest mo din siya. That's fine. But uh, first is you you feel yourself muna. If those fields are really no uh, worth your time and effort ba talaga? Kung, uh, kung yun ba yung ipoperso nating uh, uh, path. Okay. So just to ano lang, uh, uh, compare my... my uh, Uh, may ama myself no so during my ano no college days uh, nasa computer science ako so more on programming no but uh, i know within ano no within me no na pag nag-graduate ako mukhang wala akong laban out there so uh, and then uh, i've heard about open source technology and yeah and nagkaroon ako ng interest okay and yeah and for the past 20 years <laughs> okay, so dun dun tayo nag-focus no? so it will depend uh, on you guys no the good thing here is that since it is a diverse field uh, you have the ano no you have the uh, uh, you have the leeway no you have the chance to move around uh, sa IT world kasi sobrang diverse nga sa sobrang lawak uh, baka there are times so no there are times na pwede kang magsawa sa isang field and you want to change in other ano path or uh, uh, path or career uh, yeah since nasa uh, one umbrella nasa isang umbrella lang yung mga paths na yan is you can easily move around in different uh, field ano but of course uh, uh, i might be wrong then ano, na, na easy to go around no so easy kasi within one umbrella lang naman sila uh, information technology but of, of course it re still requires learning so that's why important na continuous learning natin Okay, so with that, guys, I would like to uh, end uh, this uh, no no this uh, uh, presentation with uh, a a quote from uh, Masutatsu Oyama, which is a, a the founder of Full Contact Karate. He said he once said, you know, one must try every day to expand one limit, one's limit. Okay, so it only means na uh, as you go along, uh, you yeah you study hard until you. You graduate, or baka meron mga graduating jan, and then you start uh, working na. You must try ano no, in new things every day. So para yung uh, knowledge and skills mo is uh, you you meet the the highest ano no uh, uh, expertise uh, as time goes by sa career mo. Okay, so with that guys, uh, I would like to uh, thank you guys uh, uh, for uh, participating, attending this ano. Uh, this presentation. So, baka may question. Um, may question sila. Uh, I, uh, I will uh, ano, uh, entertain any questions. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, Paul. So, guys, let me share my screen muna po for um, the often forum or the Q&A uh, rules. Naglitang po. So guys, if you wanted to interact with our speaker, you can do so. You can raise your hands or you may uh, you may post your question or type in your question using the comment section of your stream uh, of your FB page. And the other one is you can post your question on the chat box of our support the Zoom participants. Okay. For our Zoom participants, If you, when asking your question, please introduce yourself with your name, course, year, and section. Kindly raise your hands so our team can unmute you. And this is the time that you can open your camera. So please feel free to turn on your camera when asking questions. So you may use, you may also use the chat box to type out your question. For our stream participants, when asking question, please type out your question in the comment section with your name. Okay, guys? So, may gusto po pang magtanong sa ating speaker? Pwede po kayong mag-interact with our speaker? Yep, yeah, don't be shy. Apo. PUPN tayo. So, dapat hindi tayo nahihiya. 
Okay, sir, ako ang magtatanong muna Sige para lang. maumpisahan. <laughs> sir, uh, welcome po ba ang virtual OJT sa Microgenesis? Ah, okay. Good question. Um, virtual OJT. Actually, most of our jobs uh, ano, ngayon, no? so uh, this past few months, ilan na rin yung mga ano, new hires namin and currently naka-work from home pa naman kami. So, pero uh, expect that, uh, ano, uh, expect na kapag medyo nag-normalize na tayo, uh, we'll be back din sa office. Pero for sure, gradual pa. Gradual pa. So, welcome naman sir ang ang OJT sa inyo. So, pwede po yeah. mag-apply ang CCIS under the CCIS Engineering. Sir, saka ano pa yung course kaya na pwede mag-apply ng OJT sa virtual sa inyo sir? CSSD? Uh, we also uh, do have kasi uh, on this meeting po, We also do have graduating student and second year, uh, first year and second year student from the College of Social Science and Development. Meron po tayong psychology and at the same time, history, uh, sociology, tapos BSIT and BSCS and some other courses, courses then sir. Meron din sir tayong economics. We also, uh, we also do have economics. So, Ano po kaya yung mga course na welcome sa inyong mag-OJT? Hmm. Okay, uh, one thing is for sure yung mga IT ano, mga IT courses, uh, very welcome sila. Also rin yung ano, so I've heard yung psychology. Uh, yeah, meron I believe meron din kami sa sa HR namin. Uh, mukhang uh, good sila, okay sila doon. Uh, as for the other ano no, uh, courses I'm not yet sure but uh, Yeah, of course you can uh, ano uh, they can send yung kanilang mga CVs or resumes. Uh okay lang kami doon. So for us to be able to assess what best ano ano sa kanila, best positions and uh, department para sa kanila. Okay, sir sir. Would you mind sir if I ask again, ano po kaya yung mga requirements do our student need to prepare? So alam ko po may mga nakikinig po na third year student and ka- upcoming fourth year student. So, at least kahit pa paano po or nanonood sa atin, makatulong man lang din sa kanila. So, basically, uh, in most uh, ano, no, common ways, especially sa mga fresh graduate aside sa uh, CV and uh, resume nila, is that uh, since fresh grad, yeah, so be sure lang na naka-ready lagi yung, ano, yung uh, transcript and uh, diploma nila. But uh, in some cases, later on na lang nila ano yun, i-submit. And yeah, and normal yung mga medical ano, requirements and uh, mga clearances. Like police clearance, something like that. Okay. So, guys, may gusto po pong magtanong. IT, alam ko interested kayo. Kahit first year pa lang kayo, alam ko interesado kayo sa mag- pwede nyo maging future career. After your graduation. May mga tanong pa po ba? Not just PUP main, pwede po mag-participate or pwede po magtanong from branches or PUP Bataan, PUP Lopez Quezon, from uh, Mindoro State University. Kung may tanong po, welcome po kayong magtanong, sir. Ma'am. May tanong pa po ba? Mukhang maliwanag. Excuse me, may nagtataas. Uh, excuse me, may nagtataas ng kamay. Sino yung nagtataas ng kamay natin? Wait lang, sir. Ah. Okay. So, si Trevor Liam. Okay. So, a-unmute po as, as namin ko para maakapag-unmute ka. Okay. So, pwede kang mag-unmute, Trevor? Okay po. Uh, I have a question po. How much po yung minimum salary range pag nasa IT? Okay, uh, actually yun yung pinaka nakakatakot na tanong eh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, actually I cannot ano no answer it directly, but uh, there are some ano, there are some uh, uh, resources, online resources that you can check out there kung uh, saan nagre-range on every field ano. So, So, siyempre, nowadays, uh, expect na merong mga companies that are willing to, ano, to willing to, uh, to give a uh, salary which is higher than a minimum, uh, ano, uh, approved salary ng government. 
uh, uh, based on ano no, syempre based on skill sets on what you have. So yun yung una nilang titignan. Uh, but as for the specific ano no, uh, salary range, I cannot <laughs> answer that unfortunately. Uh, but of course, so we expect in any field naman, uh, the more uh, knowledgeable you are, the more skill sets you have, especially like I mentioned earlier, your credentials, certifications, if you have those. So there is a high chance no, that you can get a, a, uh, a good, uh, no, no, a fair, good uh, salary in any company. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. So anyone? Uh, sorry, uh, nakamute ka, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Trevor. Sorry, nakamute naka pala ako. Okay, so may gusto pa po bang magtanong? Check ko rin, sir, sa Facebook if meron pong gustong magtanong pa or may mga tanong sila from the Facebook page. Okay? Oh, pip, wala. Internship, tapos na tayo sa internship na tanong. Yan. Uh, HR po namin yan. <laughs> ah, okay. So, sir, pwede, kay, pwede nyo po bang ibigay yung HR? Um, pwede silang mag-apply kung gusto nila or interested sila on uh, on record, sir? Para at least. Apa. Yes po. Yes po. Pwede, pwede. Uh, you, um, okay. So, ask for the ano, email. Uh, and just uh, ask yung aming, aming ano, uh, HR. And, uh, uh, para at least for publicly about ma pwede nilang isend so someone is watching us from Mexico Pampanga wow ang layo ah akala ko Mexico ano eh akala ko rin <laughs> sir Mexico City <laughs> so for internship and job application so pinost niya po ni ma'am uh, ni ma'am Hermoso sa aming Facebook page. Pero sir, kayo po yung magsabi kung ano po yung FB uh, uh, email address kung saan nila pwedeng isend yung kanilang application letter and the CV. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, uh, let me just uh, check. Oh po. Or guys, ano may tanong pa po ba kayo para sa mga IT VS um, psychology, CSSD, may tanong po ba kayo? By the way, uh, pwede kayo magtanong kahit na although this uh, microgenesis is one of the leading, leading provider for information and technology, we also do have several uh, departments na pwede kayo mag-OJT. So kung ay OJT or interested na pagka-graduate, pwede kayo mag-apply sa kanila. So if may tanong kayo, Pwede niyong itanong kay sir. Yeah. Ah, ah. Okay? Sir, and okay. Ano sir daw pinagkaiba ng BSCS sa KBSIT? Okay. Uh, one moment ha. Okay. So, isend, pwede ko ba isend dito sa chat box natin yung link ng ano? Yes sir. You can send the, 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 the link. Apo. And at the same time, pwede niyo sir banggitin or spell, uh, spell out? Yung... Yeah. yeah, so that's uh, uh, www.mgenesis.com slash career dash opportunities. So you, they can uh, ano, no, apply directly in that uh, link. Uh, po. May link din, sir, na sinabi. You can send your CB at hrd, hrd at mgenesis.com. I guess this is my, from Miss Maria Teresa C. Hermoso. Yep. Okay, sir, may tanong po, Miss Edna, gusto niyo maki-interact kay sir? Wait lang po, open ko yung uh, pwede kayo mag-unmute, mag-unmute. for 2. Okay, so for 2, Miss Email de Edna. Ma'am, uh, pwede na, pwede ka na po mag-unmute. So, pwede ka magtanong kay sir Paul. Hello po. Good morning, sir. Good po. Uh, may, may concern lang po ako about applying a job. Uh, sa office niyo po ba is uh, pwede mag-apply yung DSBA graduate? Business associate, right? Tama ba? BSBA? Business administration. Ah, okay. Pwede-pwede po. Pwede-pwede po. 
Ah, uh, pwede po bang malaman kung ano yung qualification as ever, if ever? Ah, okay. So, pa, as for the exact qualifications po, uh, wala akong ano po ngayon. Pero if you would see yung sinend ko pong uh, link, uh, there are uh, ano doon, uh, latest job openings that might be uh, suitable sa ano nila. Uh, pero sa base sa uh, ano nila, uh, course nila, yeah, we also ano, uh, we are open with that ano. Uh, Uh, ano, course kung graduate ka ng ganong course. Okay, thank you po. Salamat. Okay, maraming salamat. So, mukhang wala na pong gustong magtanong, sir. Mukhang malinaw sa kanila yung discussion. <laughs> By the way, I just we just have received an information po for, from the second speaker po for today. Meron daw pong emergency sa office. I'll So mukhang hindi sila makaka So you'll be our la the first and last speaker for today. So guys, mukhang maaga tayong matatapos ngayon. So wala na po bang gustong magtanong kay Sir Paul? Wala na. Wala na. Okay. Sir, where is your office located to? So currently we are located in Mandaluyong City. Uh, to be exact, in Paragon Plaza Building. Uh, along EDSA, uh, Mandaluyong. So, katapat namin yung VRP Hospital. Okay. So, guys. So, yung medyo malapit-lapit within Metro Manila. Ayun. I like the presentation of the first and only guest speaker. Okay. Yun daw, sir, ang kanyang takeaways for today. I hope, guys, marami kayong takeaways for today. So, I'll be ending, sir, ang from Mr. Angelo Noel Manuel. Okay. I guess he is from NPC. Thank Apo. you. So, may that wait lang sir ha, check natin yung FB page. Yeah, may nakita ako nagtaas. <laughs> si John Elvin. Naka nakamute ka ma'am. Okay, naka unmute natin si Jen ha. Okay, Jen, you can ask questions and pwede mo nang open yung camera mo. Okay, Ay, Jen. Okay na? Okay na? Ay, pending na po. Oh, yes, oh. yes. Ay, Did sir. Uh, tumatanggap po ba kayo ng uh, intern internship po for um, BS Statistics students po? Okay, uh, mukhang HR din namin makakasagot niyan. So, I'm not sure, but again, like I mentioned earlier, so they are all welcome to send a ano, uh, CV and then uh, from there, uh, yung aming uh, HR will assess uh, ano, no, kung, kung uh, saan ba sila best uh, department or, uh, ano, no, uh, or team na uh, suitable para sa kanila. Apo. Uh, sir, message po natin. Baka kayang pumasok ni Ma'am Hermoso sa ating okay. chat. Wait uh, lang ha. Tingnan po. natin. Baka pwedeng pumasok sa sir, si Ma'am Hermoso. By the way. Wala tayong kasunod eh. <laughs> Oo, wala pa naman tayong kasunod. So, check natin. Ma'am Hermoso, nasa Facebook naman siya. Kung pwede siyang umaten ng ano, message natin siya. Wait lang guys. So, hintayin natin si Sir Ma'am Hermoso saglit. So, para matanong. So, Yan, tumatanggap po ba ng BS? Uh, BS okay, sige ma'am. Thank you. Well presented daw sir. Yun ang comment po ng isa, at, ng isa sa ating participants. Thanks. Salam. Okay, sige po. Tingnan natin yung Facebook. Okay. Ma'am, can Okay, saglit lang sir ha. Sige lang po. Mukhang naka-standby din si Ma'am Hermoso. Baka pwede siyang mag-join sa atin sa Zoom. So, hintayin lang natin siya sa grit, guys. So, sir, ang mga participants natin is uh, lahat po ng campuses ng PUP. Meron po tayong from Lopez Quezon. We also do have from Mindoro. Meron tayong PUP Bataan. Alam ko kanina, meron tayo from PUP Binyan. So, buong Luzon po tayo. Wow. <laughs> 
So, Luzon po to. Yes, sir. And by the way po, naka-air po tayo, Men Mendoza State University. Naka-air po tayo sa aming PUP Career Center FBFH. So, meron po tayong wide range of airing for not just for today, for this webinar. Mukhang hindi pa sumasagot si si ma'am. Ah, uh, po. So, Kung to... pwede siyang mag-join sana, message ko lang po siya para at least baka pwede siyang mag-join sa atin para yung ibang mga tanong ng ating mga estudyante baka pwedeng masagot. Sir, ang tinatanong, ang isa po nilang tanong kasi ngayon, dahil po birth of OJT, lalo na yung mga nasa PUP branches and campuses, Lopez, Lopez or P, other branches, baka po, po ano daw po kaya, paano kaya yung magiging setup nyo? Mm. Kasi virtual siya. Halimbawa, someone is uh, located or enrolled sa PUP uh, Ragay. Mm. Pero meron naman siyang maganda at stable na internet. Mm. Paano kaya po siya mag apply as virtual OJT nyo sa Microgenesis? Okay. Uh, actually, si, si, uh, si Microgenesis, we have offices sa different uh, parts ng ano ng uh, Philippines such as sa uh, Cebu, sa Davao, sa Pampanga. Um siguro yung pinakamalapit doon possibly possibly so siguro yung pinaka best talaga makasagot is yung ano namin yung HR namin. Pero meron kaming mga ano uh, mga employees na may, nasa malayo din that uh, able to ano rin, work even sa malayo. Uh, but specifically dun sa question mukhang si si Mama uh, Ma'am Tina lang makakasagot. Trying to reach out Miss Tin po kasi. So mukhang hindi pa siya pero mukhang naka standby siya sa atin sa Facebook. Wait lang sir. Minessage ko lang siya kasi by Facebook kasi alam ko naka naka-in siya sa Facebook. Okay, Ma'am Tina, again. Baka po, ayan, Ma'am, off-cam lang, Ma'am, cause I'm working from home. Okay lang, uh, ayan. Okay. Oh, ayan, off-cam lang daw. Okay lang na off-cam. <laughs> Can you join this? Puro mga HR-related yung mga questions, eh. <laughs> Okay, so try yata ni Ma'am Tina na mag-join mag sa atin guys uh, kasi naka-work from home daw siya. Sir, are you currently on-site? Ah, ako po. Apo? Ah, yes, nasa office po ako. Uh, sir, send ko lang yung link kay Ma'am ha. Okay po. Apo. Para maka-join siya guys. So guys, yung hindi po BSIT at marami pong tanong tungkol sa opportunities of microgenesis at the same time, not just for internship, part, uh, full-time employment, uh, mag i na po si Ma'am Hermoso to answer your question po. Ma'am Hermoso is the HR for microgenesis po, isa sa partner ng PUP. Okay? Para ma, 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 ma dun sa BSCS and BSIT, maintindihan din natin how they will process or how they will handle virtual OJT, lalo na uh, kung yun yung scenario ko kanina, if one of our students or one of the OJT or interns is currently located outside Metro Manila. Okay, ayan na. Nandito na si Ma'am Tina. So, off-cam lang daw siya. Mag-join po siya sa atin. Okay, Ma'am Tina. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ma'am. Ma'am, may mga tanong po ang ating mga susyante. Una pong tanong nila, tumatanggap daw po ba ang microgenesis na BS Statistics student as intern? Ma'am Tina. Wala si Ma'am. Ganun lang, Mama. Close okay. ko lang po yung... Uh, Sige, Ma'am. Para hindi mag-feedback. Uh, okay po. Uh, 
Tapos ano pa yung tanong? Mukhang dumada, maraming tanong kanina. BSBA graduates. Then, then virtual OJT po. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'd like to say good morning. Uh, good morning, my name is Tina Hermoso. I'm the HR manager for uh, Microgenesis Business Systems. And uh, regarding your questions, we do accept uh, internships from different schools. Uh, we have already accepted some for virtual, pero depende kasi sa um, nature of the job or yung department na papasukan nila. Kasi merong mga departments na uh, naka-skeletal workforce sa office, which means the internship should be done physically. Pero sa technical department, we also um, allow internship virtually. So it really depends on the department and the heads. Kung kailangan lang ng helping hands and also to train interns. Okay, ma'am. Kasi yun, ang particular na tanong ma'am nila is ang isang sudyante from BS Statistics Students. Meron po kasi kaming BS Stat or meron po kaming Applied Stat Applied Statistics and Actuarial Statistics. So, they are looking for OJT, in, uh, OJT station. So, they are asking po kung tumatanggap daw po kayo or may department daw po ba kayo that could uh, handle or pwedeng, uh, pwedeng ma-assign, ma mapag-assignan sa kanila, ma'am? Uh, maybe if we can be given uh, an outline of their uh, course requirement, uh, maybe we can assess if we can assign them to one of our departments. Kasi we're, we're not so sure then if uh, saan applicable yung analytics dun sa organization, but we will uh, be happy to check the outline so that we can see where they can be uh, best fit kung pwede silang mag-intern sa microgenesis. Okay, ma'am. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. John Elvin Pater... Paterno? Okay, mar yun po, nasagot po ba yung tanong? I hope nasagot ni ma I, I hope nasagot ni Ma'am Tina. Next one, ma'am, is meron po bang career daw para sa BSBA graduate sa inyong opisina? Bachelor of Science and Business Administration, ma'am. Yes, definitely. Because BSBA naman is, uh, uh, we can say it's all around though. I mean, if it's a uh, corporate setting, uh, they can be assigned to any of our uh, corporate departments. So it, uh, basically, uh, microgenesis is not only for IT graduates. No? Uh, Siyempre, meron din tayong mga ibang departments. It's like a back office support, which is composed of our accounting department. Uh, we also have uh, sales and marketing. And syempre doon meron din mga uh, assistance or administration na involved. So yes, definitely they can uh, apply also uh, if they are a business administration graduate. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, Mr. Friends Rainier, gusto niyo bang mag-unmute mag po kita para makapag, maka-inter ka kay Ma'am Tina, ha? Okay, Mr. Okay, as to unmute muna kita. Then as to off and come. Okay? Sir Prince, pwede ka na pong magtanong live kay Ma'am Tina. Sir Prince. Okay, Sir Prince, pwede ka na pong magtanong kay Ma'am Tina for your question. Ay, sira yung mic. Okay, Ma'am. Air ko na lang po. Ma'am, pinatatanong po ni Sir Friends Rainier Roque, how about BS Economics po? Tumatanggap daw po ba kayo in this field? Siguro, uh, same answer with the BS, BS Analytics. No, uh, If they can send us uh, the course outline, maybe we can find something for them in microgenesis. Okay, ma'am, would you uh, would you like ma'am to share with us the, the email address that you post sa FB page namin, ma'am? Yes. Uh, so well, they can send your our, email. Apo. They can send you their CV and your their application letter as well. Well, we recommend them visiting our website uh, where they will find the career uh, opportunities there. But they can also send directly to the uh, email address that I posted in the FB Live uh, comment section. No? It's at hrd at mgenesis.com and uh, we'll, we'll be receiving all those applications uh, 
either for internship. Maybe just put the on the subject if it's for internship or for job application. Uh, and then you just attach your application form. And uh, yun, yung sinabi kong requirements probably would be yung course outline so that we'd understand how we can uh, place you in the organization for internship. Okay. So guys, mukhang marami na tayong takeaways. So, uh, actually ma, marami kaming course ngayon or marami kaming course under the BS, uh, the College of Information and in College of Information, uh, College of Computer Science and Information Technology as well as the College of Social Science and Development. Marami po kaming course under that particular department. So, mukhang marami pong mag apply sa inyo. And by the way, we also do have Participants from PUP branches, branches and campuses, starting from PUP Bataan, Binyan, Lopez Kelson, I guess. So, baka po maraming mag, anong tawag doon, mag-apply sa inyo. Yun, ma'am, yung tanong ko kanina, sabi ko nga, paano po kaya ang magiging scenario? What if a particular student is located and but do have stable internet? Sa PUP Ragay, PUP Ragay, kunwari ma'am ha, and you, gusto niya mag-virtual or mag-OJT sa inyo po dito sa Manila. Are they welcome po? Yes. Uh, so sa current situation kasi na, uh, natin ngayon, uh, with the organization, most of our employees are working from home. Uh, ang talagang natira lang working sa site or sa office is yung back office support namin which is uh, accounting and uh, HR. So yes, they can uh, still join uh, or pursue their internship program uh, online. It really will depend. Although wala pa kami talagang established na process, no? Uh, kasi bago lang sa atin lahat tong virtual, virtual. especially. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so we will uh, probably try to figure out a uh, a new process of uh, having interns online. But definitely, uh, we we are um, very happy to accept uh, internship. We we would love to be part of uh, the training and development of your students. As as I am also uh, an alumni of PUP, I would wow. love to help you. I yes, guys, I am uh, I'm a PUP graduate, mass communication. So yes, I will be happy to entertain all those uh, applications and questions for your internship. Okay, so guys, a PUP PUPians is joining. Uh, a PUP PUPians is joining us today. Eh, not joining. Join us today, Miss Tina. So, hindi ko naman tatanungin kung anong batch ka. Pero at least, thank you for helping PUP students and our Sintang Paaralan. Yes. Thank Apo. you for having us. Okay po. Maraming salamat, Sir Paul. Again, maraming salamat. May mga tanong pa po ba or wala na? So, we can end this program. Okay, siguro ma'am, uh, lastly, uh, siguro last, uh, ano, uh, just to... Just a uh, last piece of advice coming yes, from ma'am. our head. Actually, nag-message siya sa Facebook Live natin. So just a piece of advice, he said, ano, although salary is very important, but for beginners, uh, I, strongly, I strongly advise that you look for a company that can give you the right skill sets and experiences that you need in order for you to excel in this industry. A company that will train and able uh, the, the company that will train and able uh, uh, make you an expert no? and also one that will give you the chance to grow with them while helping you with your career growth and your success. Okay, so thank you for a wonderful message for a wonderful message po at a wonderful takeaway for this one. So guys, kung wala, ayan, thank you po and yan. So, kung may mga tanong pa po, pwede daw tayo mag-reach out sa Microgenesis. Uh, they have shared with us their link. And at the same time, yung www.microgenesis.com slash career dash opportunities slash. Okay? So, you, they, they, uh, pwede rin daw tayo mag-email sa hrd at genesis.com for our uh, CV and application letter, both for OJT and part-time. Just, just uh, 
Okay, pa panood na lang daw po yung inyong subject if it is a application for for jobs or application for internship. Okay guys, thank you po. Maraming salamat Ma'am uh, Ma'am Tina and Sir Paul for this uh for for, the, for joining this event and for gracing with us or for gracing this invitation and sharing with us your expertise in career and IT. Okay? So in behalf of the Alumni Relation and Career Development Office, I'm Professor Jane S. Pulma signing off, signing off, signing off, and arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. So again, for, yes, po. Maraming salamat, Sir, Sir Paul and Ma'am Tina. Thank you. Okay? Guys, let me remind that the e-certificate or the digi digital certificate link is posted on our Zoom chat, well as on the comment section of our FB page. Okay, so pl please indicate your full name and your email address correctly, so hindi po magba bounce back sa amin yung inyong certificate. Okay, expect your certificate two to three weeks after the conduct of this particular event. Again, maraming salamat and thank you. Eh, eh, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Okay, so ang ating PUP him. ay nagbabalik din ang inyong online tambayan yes. dito sa pamantasan. Ako si Erin. At maghahatid ka alaman ng everything you have to know. Ako si Erin. Tampok ang mga nakasaproud at buwan ang PUP. At ako naman si Sir Dennis. At muli nyo kaming makakasama sa Back to School episode ng Pinakausap sa Pamantasan! pamantasan. Ano talaga? Sir, 
excited ako, sir. Kung siya pa excited. Oh, oh, Siyempre po, ma'am. Sobrang excited na po ako ngayong pasukan. Oh, oh. At dahil dyan, kasi magkakabaon na naman ako. Ay, baon talaga. Ba yun, Erin? Sa baon ka naman pala na excited. Akala ko naman Medyo sa pagpasok. Hindi ka ba na-excite na muli ka nakatungtong sa Mama. ating suntang paalala? Siyempre, sir. Hindi lang po ako na-excite. Dahil tinanong ko rin ng aking mga kapwa schoolmates Ay, kung paano nga po ba sila naganda at gaano sila ka-excite ngayong pasukan. Siyempre, hindi lang po yun. Lalong-lalo na yung mga freshies natin. Oh, yeah. Ang pinaka- Gusto niyo po ba malaman kung ano yung sagot nila? Of course! Kaya panoorin na po natin yan. Ito fresh to. Fresh! Ang bilis talagang lumipas ng panahon. Biruin nyo yung nakaraan lang, eh, libo-libo mga eskola ng bayan ang nagsipagtapos. Pero syempre, sabi nga nila, kung may aalis, ay may darating na panibagong eskola ng bayan. Kaya talilat samahan nyo ako sa kanilang pag-enroll upang malaman natin kung ano nga ba ang kanilang experience. Let's go! Ayun, bakit sa Pilipin nyo gustong mag-aral? Mura at saka magandang bago yung Pilipin. Ito ako po kasi, maganda po yung mga course na ino-offer po ba? Dream school. Ay, dream school, yeah. Ano-ano yung mga bagay na inaasahan nyo pag pasok nyo ng sintang paralan? Maganda po ang malakad ng school. Team friendly environment. New friends. New friends. Environment. Ano na lang yung feeling na yes, isa na tayong ganap na scholar ng Pumas? Nakakakaba na nakakaikli. Nakakakaba na nakakaikli. At some point, full feeling siya sa amin kasi di ba, maraming naghahangad na makapasok dito and luckily, isa kami din sa mga kasi. Nakakaba na tayo bilang masipag at saka matisyag ang mga mag-aaral. So, napakasaya kasi isa kami sa mga natatangang mag-aaral na nakapasok po dito sa Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Pasok, mag-isang sabi naman na kayo mag-ata. 5, 4, 3, 2, Dorma, Uwian. 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 Mainit nating salubungin ang ating mga bagong isko at iska sa kanilang bagong journey at adventure dito sa Sintang Paaralan. Kaya, muli ay welcome! Wow! Uy, wow ha! In fairness ha, talagang mukhang ready-ready na ang ating mga freshies, mga mga schoolmates para magsunog. Magsunog ng kilay. At special mention ng ating mga freshies. Ah, hello! So freshies yung natin yung mga kilay nyo. Yes, eto mga schoolmates ha, hindi lang yan ha, kailangan pa nating bibuhan dahil, dahil ito po ah, ito, may isang inspirasyon na naman dito sa atin. May top notcher na naman ng isang licensure examination na taga PUP ma'am. Tama ka Eric at alam mo ba, hindi lang siya nakapasa. Alam nyo ba napasok din siya sa top 5 CPA licensure nitong May 2019? Top 5 po talaga, ma'am. Yes! Grabe mo, kailangan kong makilala yan. Para lalo pa po akong ma-inspire mag-aral. Ito na nga, sabay-sabay natin. Sabay-sabay natin kilalanin at ma-inspire sa kanyang kwento ng sipag, tiyaga at galing. Kilalanin natin si Aren Josue Gavino dito sa Tatak Pilipia! Ako si Aren Gavino, nagtapos ng Bachelor of Science in Accountancy taong 2018. Magda Kamlaute. I rank 5th in the recent CPA licensure examination. Wanting to become a CPA is my own personal choice. Nobody pushed me to lead this path but myself and now I'm glad I made it. After the exam, I have no expectation to rank the board but I'm sure I'll pass, hoping that the ones I'm not sure about will be correct. I felt very fulfilled and happy knowing that All my hard work paid off. Apat kami magkakapatid. Tatlo kaming sabay-sabay na nag-college. Yung dalawa private. Ako naisip ko na kailangan tatulungan yung mga magulang ko para magawasan yung gastos. Ang tanging choice ko ay mag-aral sa PUP. Kaya kung hindi dahil sa PUP, hindi ako nakapagtapos. Hindi ako magiging isang ganap na CPA at lalong hindi ako magtatap sa board. During my first year and second year in this accountancy, I see to it that I study 8 to 9 hours a day and increase it to 12 hours a day during exam weeks. I cut out something that doesn't help me, such as TV, K-drops, doubts and anxieties, and thus is never my goal. My message to aspiring CPAs 
is to never give up, study hard because there is no other choice, and make no excuses. Minsan akala natin malayo pa, hawak kamay na natin pala. And yes, it really takes commitment of daily practice on yourself. I'm still in the process of choosing my career options. I'm still praying to God that I'll arrive on the best decision for me. CPA, claim, pay, and action. Claim, kasi if you can envision it, you can bring it into your reality. And the first thing to do before anything else is to pay for action because nothing will change if you don't work for your dreams. Ako si Aaron Gavino, ang most outstanding JPM in academics in NCR, Batch 2018, Magna Cum Laude Batch 2018, ng Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, at Top 5 ng May 2019 CPA Licensure Examination, the Top TUP. Isang nasigabong palakpakan para sa mga kapatid. Yeah! Correct ka dyan, Ma'am Yel, at talagang ipinagmamalaki namin kayo, no, mga schoolmates. And by the way, para naman sa mga hindi pinalad na makapasa, I do not lose hope. Sabi nga nila, try and try until you succeed. Succeed! Succeed! Joke na! Tama yan, tama po yan, sir, no? At isa rin po yung pagkakataon para sa aming mga scholar ng bayad upang matuto at mapapalapit sa aming mga pangarap. Yan, di ba? Pero, Ma'am Yel, anong oras na po ba? Eh, meron lo ka, di ba? Anong time na, Eric? Anong time na? Malilate na po ako. Oo, mamaya ka nung balik na po tapos na tayo. Ito, mga klasi ka pala. Anyway, sige na nga. At sana nga ay na-inspire kayo sa ating mga bagong episode dito sa ating paboritong online tambayan, di ba? Yes, sir. Bakit para maging update, ito na ako sa usawa sa pamuntas. At i-follow nyo kami sa aming social media. Kaya naman, hanapin lang ang PUP Creative sa Facebook at i-like ang aming page. At i-follow nyo rin kami sa Twitter at PUP Creative. Siyempre, visitahin nyo rin ang aming YouTube channel at PUP Creative. Correct! And on that note, itakits mga schoolmates hanggang sa susunod nating mga pag-uusap dito sa inyong paboritong online tambayan dito sa ating Sintang Paralan. Ito ang Pinausap-usapan sa Pamantasan! Hindi, hindi. Hayo. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi, oo, oo. Nasa lagoon, oo. Hindi, pwede, pwede. Oo, pwede, pwede. Ako si Arin Gabi. Dati, may tayo pa, pero ngayon, kayo na. Sige, hindi makasabi pa. Emerson is a global technology and engineering leader. We operate in over 150 countries. We are uh, 110,000 employees worldwide. And here in the Philippines, we have over 2,000 employees. My name is Nikki Florento. I'm from Dal, Philippines. I'm handling the university relations and services hiring. Pagasa Steel Supply is concrete reinforcing bars to the Philippines' booming construction industry. We have been the leading supplier of quality steel bars for the past 52 years. EGS is an Algorica company. It is one of the fastest growing BPO companies in the Philippines right now. I'm Cecil Venantia and I'm Branding and Communications Director of Sykes Asia. We don't decide whether you're from a top-tier university or a state university. We decide based on our assessments that includes exams and interviews. Having said that, a lot of Dell's workforce in the Philippines are from PUP. 55 to 80 hires annually, those coming from PUP alone. And as a matter of fact, 14 of the homegrown employees who started from staff and supervisor have been promoted. Currently, uh, we have 13 employees from the PUP. They're working in a different field. So most of them are engineer, some are in sales, most of them are in the higher position. There's a huge pool of students that we can really um, harvest from. And we know the, the reputation that they bring. So we're glad that we have a university like PUP that we can uh, rely on for, uh, for our future employees. I love the graduates of PUP. They're not only fun to work with, but you can rely on them. 
They are very, very dependable. PUP graduates are an exact match and fit to Pagasa Steel's mission and vision. The reason why we prefer the PUP graduates is the fact that we notice that um, they have a common denominator. Very hardworking. See, whatever happens, they'd still work. Even if it's raining, they'd still come to work. You give them additional tasks, they'd accept. They are resilient. Very passionate, aside from being resilient. Because we can see that they're very dedicated with their job. And we've seen a lot of PUP graduates, not just in one department. They turn out to uh, adapt very well and adjust well to our company here in the Philippines. They're productive employees and they stay with us for a long time. Integrity and ethics, drive for results, intellectual capacity, and adaptability. So when we hire PUBNs, they have this kind of um, they have this kind of competencies. Of course, they're very intelligent people, responsible, responsible in a sense because whenever um, we meet these graduates and we ask them what are their future plans, they would always come up with answers like helping out their family or because I'm done with school, I'll help out another sibling. So you would know already that. Um, these kids, even before um, they actually embark on um, certain work, they already have um, goals in mind. They're not maarte, no? Whatever you give them, they know that if it's for the purpose of the job, they will do it. And so they have, uh, they're the ones that survive the challenges of work. They don't shirk away from responsibilities. Um, they're the type who, whatever the job requires, they're up for the challenge. PUPNs enable people everywhere to grow and thrive. PUP is one of the pillars of the nation because it is an institution that provides good graduates and people who really contribute to the success of the community or to the success of the country. All the people associated with PUP, if you're a graduate, congratulations and uh, you should be proud of yourselves. For those of you that are students, please continue the tradition, the proud legacy that your school has. Some of you, PUP, you work for us now. We appreciate you. We know you're good employees. For those of you that might work for us in the future, please consider us. We'd love to have you. We know that you make a great employee for us. UPNs, bring everything you are. If you have big ideas, let's talk. Come work where passion meets possibility. You can visit jobs.dell.com for opportunities. You pursue your dreams and work hard for whatever endeavor you will choose. And in the event that you will choose to apply in one of the fastest BPO companies in the Philippines, I would like to invite you to apply in EGS at Nalorica Company because our doors are open for all of you. To all the PUPNs, let's create a size of smile together. Smart is very happy to have PUP graduates now enjoying their career and let them live more. Hashtag Sykes to PUP. We will support you in more ways than one. Tara na, magiging magkasama na tayo. Mabuhay ang PUP.